What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. As promised, we're going to be doing a Audi A6 to RS6 grille transformation install. In true form, of course, I've completely forgotten to do an intro to the video, so this is it. In fact, the grille is actually already on the vehicle, so let's just get into it. So we're going to be going from this. To this. As you can see, as far as I'm concerned, it's a massive improvement on the original grill, and this is how we did it. First things first, needs to get jacked up, wheels taken off. Daddy. What? Okay, so next, this guard here has got to come out. Essentially what you're going to want to do, lift it in one corner, get a long clip, and you just beat it along. Get that guard. Bob's your teapot. Then we have four screws for the bumper. you got Torx there, Torx there, and Torx there. Apologise, three screws for the bumper, I should say. Okay, so we're inside the wheel arch. Uh, these are T25s, you'll need to take these out as well. There's usually one here, one here, one here also. Uh, however, whoever owned this car before me thought it was a great idea to just leave them out. So, we're going to replace those. Okay, so doing that allows us to get to this bolt, this bolt, and this bolt, right here. And there's also one on the inside of the bumper over there, right in the middle of the screen that you'll need to get to as well. Bit of a board like you need about three extensions to get to that one. And again, on the near side, it's literally the mirror image. You're going to pull those three out, and then get into that far one over there. Let's do it. Okay, so that's it, bumper off. We're gonna need to take all the screws out of the bumper first, which are stupid, they go all the way around the bumper. Then when that's done, we're gonna have to paint this as well. You're gonna see that behind the grill. Okay, so that's it, bumper off. Old grill's off. Way more of a bore like than I thought. Um, if you look at this one, there's actually a lot of plastic tabs all the way around it as well. So it's not just held in by screws, it's held in by plastic tabs. The aftermarket one doesn't have these tabs. So I was gauging the job by looking at the aftermarket one, where, you know, it looked pretty easy, just screws in all the way around, but not the case with the original. Of course, I'm gonna get this cleaned up now and uh, put the new one on. 
Right guys, sorry for the jump cut. Uh, the bumper's back on with the new grill. As you can see, it's all lining up fine. Jump cutting because it was a fucking ball ache. These big meat hooks just could not fit back in here at the angle that you need to get to to get that bolt on. Uh, for love, no money, ratchet, rattle gun, nothing will get it on. The missus had to put her hands in there to get on it. But yeah, it's back together. Just got to cross the T's and dot the I's and then I'll show you when it's done. That's that then guys, it's all on, it's back together. I think compared to the old one, which is over here, massive, massive upgrade. Again, a bit of a ball lake, but they got it done. So yeah, what I'll do is I'll throw some beauty shots in here and uh, appreciate the new grill. We are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams. Fucking know that these fucking eyes that I'm staring at. Let me see that ass. Look at all this cash. And I've emptied out my cards too. Now I'm fucking leaning on that. 